Hi everyone, I'm Susan Jacob and in this video I'm going to show you another case of uh, femtosecond laser assisted cataract surgery or FLAX and in this case uh, we will see uh, the use of a two plane chop in a grade 2 nuclear sclerosis. So here is the imaging which shows the amount of uh, nuclear sclerosis as well. A pre-surgery edge test is done and this is followed by a 5 mm capsulotomy and a two plane chop. The arcuate keratotomy incisions are then made at 85% depth and 30 degrees arc length and this is followed by construction of the main port and the side port. In this case, you can see an incompletely dissected uh, main port uh, with the femtosecond and this is because the coronal arcus interfered with the, the identification of the limbus. So uh, we finally go back to creating the incision with the keratome manually and then continue with surgery as usual. A free floating capsulorexis is seen and again it is important to make sure that it is completely detached and there are no partially uncut segments in order to avoid a radial run out of the rexis. Once this is done, the nucleus should be burped because of the presence of intralenticular gas uh, which can lead to uh, a blowout uh, a capsular block syndrome and a blowout if hydrodissection is done prior to burping the intralenticular gas out. So hydrodissection is then done and the nucleus is rotated. We already have the nucleus fragmented and therefore uh, the hemisection of the nucleus becomes much more easier with the phaco probe. These uh, segments are then brought out and emulsified one after the other. Once the nucleus is completely removed, it's time to remove the cortex and you will notice that since the femtosecond laser cuts the uh, subcapsular cortex as well in line with the rexis, the cortex is actually clean cut and there are no uh, wisps of cortex that we as PECO surgeons are used to grasping and pulling out when we do a manual rexis. Therefore, cortex aspiration can be a little more difficult with flax as compared to a manual rexis because of the absence of these wisps. Uh, however, it can generally be completed and uh, finally the intraocular lens is uh, implanted into the bag and the viscoelastic is removed and in the end the arcuate keratotomy cuts are open. You can see here again an uncut uh, arcuate keratotomy cut and these are some of the problems that you can sometimes uh, face even with flax. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much.